Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to the one and only Chamberlain College School, one of the oldest schools in Uganda. Myself, I'm Tehreen Mirza and here I am with the Chamberlain debate team. Here we have Katendi Hannington, Kawesa Rayan and Alito Enoch. Our mission for today is technology has tough creativity in which we believe that the reason why we aren't creative enough is because of technology. We are all depending on it. That's why we as the affirmative said that yeah, technology has really made us too dependent that we can't think outside the box. Hi everyone, this is the Seno Morgali Senior Secondary School debate team and my name is Namanya Torembiri Divine. On my left is Ajibo Caritas, on my right is Naoma Gift and next to her is Isabir Album. Hello everyone, as it's time for the debate, during the course of the debate, we expect the end of our opponents and we also expect the excellence at the end of the day. Thank you very much. House Rules Each speaker has five minutes. The first and last minutes are protected. The judge will ring a bell to signal the protected time. The bell will ring continuously after five minutes. The panel, the house at large, and the two antagonistic bodies. My name is Tehri Mirza, student of Chamberlain College, representing the affirmative team, Speaker One. Results. The motion is, technology has stifled creativity among the youth. So basically, the key terms are creativity. Creativity is the idea of bringing something new. The other keyword is technology. Technology is a system that provides information and still is limiting and oppressing something. Okay, and youth is the people who fall under 20 to 35 years old. So as team affirmatives, our whole debate is basically saying that technology has really harmed us, because not us, but our thinking capacity in short, our creativity. So basically we say that tech has, has misled us and, and has put us, put us in, a, in a way that we can't think outside of, the, outside of the box. For example, I would like to first give you the disadvantages of the tech in ratio to creativity. First of all, dependency. We as team affirmatives believe that everything is so programmed in the wrong run that we fail to do everything on our own. Since we are dependent on tech, 30% of the students in Uganda use technology. Tell me, doesn't this kill originality? Since it's killing origin originality, Uganda has the fifth lowest IQ in the world, which takes us back to our parameter, right? Uganda in currently is being affected by technology in ratio to creativity, where one cannot think outside of the box, and which gives us our status quo, right? In Uganda, we are over dependent on the tech, which tells us that Uganda is the lowest country, is the fifth lowest country with IQ in the world. See, where is this taking us? Why is this? Because this is because we copy everything from the tech. We are duplicating. We can't use the tech. And, and we, we use the tech and we end up copying someone's article, which does not only limit us, but also our thinking creativity. As the team of farmers, our technology falls under AI and social media. That's why we come and tell you that one might use AI and generate an article which he or she has not really used his mind from. Isn't this killing creativity? He or she will just go to the internet and get something that suits him. Why isn't this person thinking on his own? Before technology, didn't people used to think? Didn't people used to come up with better ideas? At least in technology also someone's idea, but you end up copying from it. Why don't you use something and make it on your own? We talk about time. We spend too much time on social media just liking and disliking videos. We don't even use it to the fully where we're supposed to use it. We end up making a, a, an I don't mind the whole day because we risk our creativity. We know 90% of our lively, livelihood in Uganda comes from, from agriculture. But how many of us go and use technology or search engines to go search about agriculture, but instead misuse it on social media doing things which are utterly wrong? Why? Because we are we are over dependent on tech we are copying everything from tech and we and we uh sorry we that's why we say technology is killing originality that's the basic concept of this debate as the affirmative team that technology has killed originality from it team negators will come and tell us that yeah technology allows people to generate ideas but in truth that's not the reality we end up copying ideas in reality this time up in reality, this is stealing ideas from people using AI. So why don't we come on our own and make something that's creative and do something that is done by us on ourselves, but not copy, take from someone else, not duplicate it from someone else. Work. Whether it's the AI or whether it's a social media, we end up we end up killing our creativity and instead of thinking outside of the box, we might go and do something. 
Because 56% of employees in Uganda use AI daily. Why is this? Isn't this over-dependency on the tech? Why are we doing this? According to the 1990 studies, creativity has declined since 1990. Why has it declined? Because this is when the technology rose. Rose to the coming of AI, rose of coming of the search engines. People have failed to do things on their own self, but are instead taking help from the tech. And not only help, but they are killing their creativity on complete level, because they end up copying something that's not theirs, but and, and, and put it in a way to show us that this, but that's also the end of their creativity, because they have failed to think it on their own. I rest my case. Thank you. The panel, the two antagonistic bodies plus the August Assault Lodge. Good evening. Good afternoon, sorry. My name is Ajibo Karitens, a student of Senua Mwagali. Dear judges, we are disagreeing with with our opponents. Why? Because she has not given us the source of information. So we are disagreeing with the explanation of their keywords. Let me first begin with explaining the keywords in our resolution. Technology. Scientific knowledge used in practical ways in industry. Stifled. To prevent something from happening. Creativity. Use of skill and imagination to produce something new or art. Use time of Time of life when a person is young, especially before a child becomes an adult. And our source of information is the Oxford Learners Dictionary 10th edition. We as Team Negative are saying technology has not stifled creativity among the youth. Some of the common barriers of creativity are negative thinking, lack of knowledge, self-doubt, fear of experimentation, and self-constant criticism. Dear judges, Technology has made it easier to bring minds and ideas closer and take these ideas further at the same time. This fixing of technology and creativity has brought innovative new ideas and avenues through which people can express themselves. My second submission is technology has made it easier to bring creative minds and ideas B closer to people. Close Closer to bring something out of the box, B therefore, instead of suppressing tech, instead of suppressing creativity, creativity, technology B enhances creativity. POI. Not granted, please. Technology encourages the habit of instant gratification, which assists us when in the context of productivity. The B internet B being an example of creative, B the internet being an example of technology it gives POI. people more direct not granted please i'll take your pois in the last minutes the internet being an example of technology it gives people more direct constant and wide access to information which can inspire creative projects and solution on the other hand technology is a tool of enhancing creativity through empowering education and artificial intelligence filmmaking information information sharing and entrepreneurship According to the Daily Monitor, youth ahead with 15.8% of the population owning smartphones, the young between 15 to 24 ages are at 28%. The report says analysts say young people have a higher appetite because they appreciate and understand what a smartphone can do. Technology encourages youth to bring their hidden tactics and express themselves in ways they have ever that they have ever been able technology has led to the inspiration of youths for example internet motivators and successful dear judges we are totally disagreeing with what team affirmative are telling us technology has not stifled creativity among the youths it has made it easier to bring minds and ideas closer these ideas at the same time then this mixing of technology and creativity has brought innovative new ideas and avenues through which people can express themselves. So, technology has not stifled creativity among the youths. Technology is a tool for enhancing creativity through empowering education and artificial intelligence. With that, allow me rest my case. Thank you. This is the High School Crossfire. We'll be back in a minute.